such a nice dip. It wasn't actually too cold. The water was nice. There's some lovely waves in there as well. And the sunset is looking very nice. Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Welcome to another episode of Fine Hour Adventure. We are back in Cornwall after an amazing time in Mallorca and we've just arrived at the Pig at Harlem Bay and we are going to show you around. So whilst we're waiting for our room to get ready, we're just gonna have a little wander around the kitchen garden. So in the kitchen garden, there is a lot of amazing vegetables that are grown, herbs, and we've been just looking at all the amazing things that are being grown here. And a lot of the stuff that is grown here is actually then used for the restaurant. So we're having dinner tonight, so we're very excited to try out what they have here at the Pig and try some of the stuff that's grown here. It looks like they're growing a lot of different chilies here. There's some really long green ones and there's like a massive red pepper just over there. So we we're just wondering what this purple one was and Johnny recognised it from the aubergine emoji. <laughs> they're, very, they're very small at the moment, but look at the colour, they're really cool. There's loads of different berries being grown here as well and they're all protected by this like mesh in here, but there's some huge raspberries in there and they look really good. So at the back of the kitchen garden there are two treatment rooms and you can book them whilst you're staying here at the pig. They offer all sorts of lovely treatments and we're just going to show you inside one of the rooms now. So this is inside one of the treatment rooms and it has got such an amazing like rustic feel to it. They've decorated it with all these like beautiful old elements on the walls and it's just got a really cosy relaxing feel to it. We've just discovered inside this building here that they're actually growing mushrooms and there's a little window which you can peek through and see them growing. So we've just made it back to the gardens just outside of the main house. There's these lovely chairs that you can sit on and just relax. It's very quiet and peaceful here with lots of lovely trees and we're just looking at the menu to maybe order some drinks. We've just picked up the keys to our room and we're going to head in now and give you a full room tour. So this is the garden wagon we're going to be staying in and there's some seating just outside which is lovely and peaceful and I'm just going to show you the inside now. As you come into the garden wagon there is a lovely seating area just over here and a very convenient tea and coffee station with a TV just above that you can enjoy from the bed, which is just over here. Got a lovely big comfy bed with storage either side. And below the tea and coffee station, you have got a very well stocked mini bar with snacks and drinks. So that is the bedroom living area. And then just through these doors here, we've got the bathroom, which has got a lovely shower just through here, a lovely rainfall shower. Then we've also got a toilet, just, just in there. And then opposite the shower and the toilet, we've got a lovely freestanding bath, which is so beautiful. We've got all the toiletries you need and also bath robes and this beautiful butt lip sink. And I love these taps, they're so pretty. And one of the most unique things about these garden wagons is that they have their very own outdoor showers, which you can enjoy after having a lovely day at the beach. Okay, so we've just finished in the room tour and I just spotted that we've got a little guest making a nest in our outdoor shower. It 
it's like the perfect spot to make a nest because it's so sheltered here with all of the um, the fencing and the foliage and everything blocking everything off for privacy. So I think we're just going to leave her there and we're not going to tell the hotel so she can keep her nest and, and do whatever she's doing. So we're all dressed up for dinner and we are ready to eat because we are absolutely starving and I can't wait to see what they've got on the menu. So we've just arrived at our table and we the menu here is basically locally sourced within a 25 mile radius and they've even got a little map that shows where all of the produce comes from which is really cool. So we've just been enjoying some focaccia and some really nice fishy bites with some smoked mackerel and some fish fingers and now our starter has just arrived. They are homemade pork sausages and we're going to tuck into them now. So our mains have just arrived and I've gone with the hake and it comes with, well, we've ordered chips on the side and Johnny went with the lamb shoulder. Dinner was absolutely delicious. We have, ab we have been rolled out of there. We both feel so stuffed. So we're going for a little walk now down to the beach and we're gonna go see if we can get a sunset. The sun has just come out. It was just raining a minute ago and there is a rainbow to that side of us. So fingers crossed we get a beautiful sunset. We are on our way to Harlan Bay and that's where the Pig Hotel is located. So it's just a little bit further past the road. It's about a 10 minute walk from the hotel, hotel down to the beach. And so far the rain is holding off. We've just got back to our room and we're going to jump in the outdoor shower and then I think we're also going to light a fire and get into bed and probably put a movie on for the rest of the evening. We both absolutely love outdoor showers and to be able to come back from the beach and jump in that outdoor shower, the flow rate is really good, the water is really hot so it's just really nice experience to be out there. And um, yeah, it's probably definitely one of the best outdoor showers we've ever been in. And we've just put the fire on now. So I think we're going to call it a night and we'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning everybody. We have had a very nice relaxing peaceful sleep here in our garden wagon. It's been really nice. We actually overslept because it was so comfortable and we were just listening to the sound of the rain last night as it rolled through. And if you're wondering, the pigeon is still here, just having its nest. And it doesn't get scared. We've had a couple of showers in here already and it's just been chilling. And uh, yeah, probably watched a lot of people in this shower. So in the mini bar they have got some morning shots and we actually really like having a bit of ginger or turmeric in the morning and this one is a ginger with apple cider vinegar shot so might as well give it a go wake me up in the morning don't know if i'll be able to drink it all in one go oh <laughs> <laughs> well that tastes good but yeah the apple cider vinegar it's supposed to be really good for you isn't it and I'm having the turmeric and black pepper one. It's pretty strong. It's the yam. Um, it's the vinegar in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you. Whoa. Let's spit it out. <laughs> your, your cheeks are warm. Well, that wakes you up in the morning. <laughs> I anticipate the ball bit. We've just locked up our garden wagon, made sure all the doors are closed so that the pigeon stays outside and we're now gonna head to breakfast. So we've just come down for breakfast and there's a lot of choice. We've got pastries, fruits, we've also got some fresh honeycomb and we've also gone with um, hot chocolates and juices and there's a menu that you can order um, hot food as well. But for now, I'm just trying out all of these goodies. So last night I was reading in the book about all about the pigs and I was learning about how they designed their spaces and they have such a lovely homely feel which is kind of what they were going for and a lot of the pieces are very like mismatched so they are all very different but they all kind of come together and make a really nice cohesive design and everywhere you look it's just absolutely beautiful. So it's very sad but we've got to check out now so we're just gonna lock up and then probably explore the grounds for a little bit before we go. So before we leave the pig at Harlem Bay we wanted to show you some of the cute little animals that are here on site and just behind me we have quails and they like to peck each other apparently so what they do is they leave them these like cauliflowers which they'll peck at instead but they're very cute they're like light browns and like dark browns as well and they've got like little speckled spots all over their bodies and they're very small what they also have here on the site are runner ducks which are very cute there's three of them here just behind me in this little field and it's full of wildflowers and it looks beautiful they've got a very nice home and last but not least, they have got pigs here at the pig. <laughs> There's three little pigs just down here. And I think they're saddleback pigs from what I was reading about last night. And they've, ha they've got sea views here, so they have got the best spot. And that is the end of our time here at the pig. We have had such an amazing stay. It really is a cool place. And we are gonna be writing a whole guide to it on our website, so don't forget to check that out when it's published. And don't forget to give us a comment down below of your favorite part of the pig and we'll see you in next week's episode.